as for our other team still alive in the NAIA playoffs, Morningside had a dominant performance versus Carroll College, beating the Saints 55 to nothing, finishing with 566 total yards of offense and obviously not allowing a single point. Coming into the spring playoffs, the big concern for every team is trying to get back into fall form. For the Mustangs offense, it took a couple of drives to really kick things into high gear, but a big reason why it looked so seamless to fans was the play of the offensive line, which helped pave the way for 213 rushing yards and kept junior quarterback Joey Dolinchek's jersey nice and clean by allowing zero sacks, a performance they'll hope to replicate in round two. We call our offense line the Hogs, and right at the start of the game, I told them it's going to be a hog day. So no matter what it is, passing the ball or running the ball, they're going to show up, and I know they're going to get the job done. So it was huge for them to come back in the first round of the playoffs and have a performance like that from them. Uh, offensive line is one of the things that concerns you because um, it requires so much working together. Um, the good thing is that it was the same five guys that started in the fall, and, and they seem to have caught a beat together, and they seem to be working just fine. The Mustangs will hopefully have their Hogs do the same thing to Baker this weekend when they host their second-round matchup, 1 o'clock kickoff, over at Elwood Olsen Stadium, which, Tim, as you know, they're pretty pumped to get back to their own hometown field.